it should be mandatory for every agency of government to hire qualified people that are living with disabilities because I relate with them. There are so many of them. So the Nigerian government needs to show, you know, to match its uh, words with action. That is the law should take its course. Every MD, uh, MDA, agency of government, should ensure that they employ qualified people to the appropriate position with that, that are people living with a disability. What, what penalty do you probably think will be meted? Well, well, not yet. It's, this is something that I cannot individually do. Okay. But when it's uh, enforceable, when it's enforceable that an agency, it's a simple law. Okay. I don't think any organization will, and, and I don't think they, are, they, they will lack people that are qualified to occupy. I'm not saying that because somebody is living with disability, you make him palm sick if he's not qualified. But an opportunity should be open for them to enter into the system and grow up to become whatever. Because we, I know that people with disability, we have seen it even in the National Assembly. Even before me, there was a chief whip of the National Assembly who was uh, uh, hired to from Kano. And he performed credibly as a chief whip of uh, the Senate then. I think the six or seven Senate. Can ah, you just go down memory lane? How Which? do you endear yourself to your mind? You are not the no, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm a son of poor man. I came up, so anybody that I meet along the way, I try to help. Because, as I said, I'm son of nobody who happened to be somebody. Without support of anybody. And it's my responsibility to make sure that people living with disability, people that are from the poor, that is my constituency, People that are looking for opportunity where they need somebody that can just give them a push, then I try to do that whenever, uh, whenever I can. And Parasoka, FCT, and indeed people with disability of this country, we are presenting you with this excellent award for your contributions over the years to the, well, uh, to the life of people with disability and sports development in general. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> when you do something for somebody and he turns around and is very grateful and is very happy, it motivates you to do more. So we intend to, I intend to keep supporting them. I have never stopped. I intend to keep supporting them and uh, whatever I can do, keep doing, as long as I'm still standing in my life, I'll continue to do that. And uh, now I know distinguished, so I'll be behind him supporting him. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, my name is Frank Jitubo. Frank Jitubo. I'm the immediate past chairman of the Basketball Association of the FCT. Today, the Commission of People with Disability has come to stay. Many, many of our people have gotten employment through the Commission. Many of us have been encouraged. And sincerely, we have no option than to come and honor you and say thank you to all you have done to us and appreciate you in the public. Because our president believes in the renewed hope, this must be a renewed hope agenda for the people living with disability. I can guarantee you that both the president his wife, the Senate President, his wife, the Speaker, and his wife will all, inshallah, be part of this uh, game that the founder, who is known to be, and the, Mr. Frank, who is known for supporting, once this organization is done, will do it in a grandiose manner and that will bring out that will bring out our uh, Parasoka team out to the nation. We will do it in such a way, inshallah, with the help of God and with Mr. Frank by the, by the side, we will plan for this and make sure we do it grandiously. I can say this year, inshallah, is, is going to be a year of renewed hope, not only to Nigerians, 
that are all able, but renewed hope for people living with disability. <laughs>